guys, it's me, Nelson Yasum. I'm here, and welcome back with episode 79 of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Link is doing a nice little stretch as the sun sets in Luralun Village, just because I've been kind of standing here for a long time, admiring a wonderful view, watching the sunset. And we're going to go ahead and talk to this guy, Garini. What's going on? Ah, uh, I thought that boat. I guess I'm just stuck. Oh, you're Link. Well, here you are, our hero. I returned to my village when I heard that the pirates disappeared. Who'd think I'd bump into you here? Well, unfortunately, I don't really have time to chat. Thing is, my boat's gone. And with it, how I get my trading done. I don't know where it's gotten to. All the boats in the village are gone too. So I can't even find a replacement for it. I'm sure that because of the mayhem the monsters caused, they all got washed out to sea. Things that float away from our village often wash up on Tonoko Island off the eastern coast. Maybe they're there. Tonoko. Of course, Tonoko Island is way out to sea, and I don't have a boat to to get a boat. Seems like I'm stuck then. I'll never be able to reopen my shop. I sell some things you can only find here. And my customers are eager to see me get my shop up and running again. I just need to get my hands on a boat. That's all. Hmm, Tonoko, huh? What's Tonoko? Way to trade washed away, eh? Alrighty. I'll start off this episode with helping you out then. Just because I'm a friendly little guy. Is that a Gerudo? Also, you've been standing here for a while. So you're our savior, huh? I thought you'd be tougher looking. Hey, I'm pretty tough. But you must be pretty strong beneath the surface. Did I tell you before in Nintendo Village that my wife is from here? She'd been feeling awful ever since those pirates attacked. But after you sent them packing, we decided it was time to move. Guess I should start learning the ins and outs of the Luralin dialect. Yeah. And also change out of those clothes. Oh, Lover's Pond? Saba Saba. Oh, of course that would seem odd. I'm not in Gerudo Town after all. Have you ever heard of Lover's Pond? Oh yeah. Oh, it's up there. It's a lake on the summit of the mountain over there. Tuft Mountain, it's called. Lover's Pond was a fabled place when I was young. It was said that you could find your true love there. I searched and searched and searched. I couldn't find it. Finally, I gave up. Who would have thought I'd end up so close to it all these years later? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> You're attraction, eh? Hey, what's on your mind? You think about teaming up with your pal Bolton again? If you're talking to me at this hour, you must be raring to get back at it. I'm not surprised. Our chemistry is out of this world. Funny thing is, I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in Laurel. <laughs> yes, I'd like it to be some kind of entertainment. Something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. Mm. You traveled all over the place, haven't you? Any marvelous ideas you care to share? Open a floating hotel? Offer underwater tours? Host a water... Water rally sounds cool. <laughs> Host a rally race on the water? Clever! Very clever, don't you think? Because a floating oh. island and an underwater tour is... Don't seem like stuff that would happen. <laughs> That's stuff that they could do. <clears throat> well, it would be a brand new form of water-related amusement. <laughs> I could do the trick. Yes, in fact, I think that's it. Ah. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inviting some hotshot professional racers to help develop some new vehicle. If we could work with them. Yeah, from Terrytown. Hudson? Do you mean the fellow from that Terrytown place in northeastern Akala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. Though I do wonder if real professional racers will be willing to come to a place like this. Yes, of course. I gotta finish, like, all the work in Terrytown before I'm able to do this. That's cool. Also, Bosun, of course you remember Hudson, but you don't remember me. Oh, okay. So let's do this. It's a bit out of whack, but that's okay. And let's get a steering stick out as well. We're gonna make our own little boat. Boom. <laughs> also, the game mentioned underwater tours. Speaking of that, I'd like to see definitely underwater swimming the uh, thing in the next game. Because the next game, they have to try to outdo or at least live up to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. So the only way to do that is just to do mechanics that they couldn't do in this game. I think they could use this engine, but imagine just having a giant ocean wind waker style being able to have boats just like this kind of this game was open air the next game can be open water open sea and just have an entire ocean map and then they can do the same thing they did with skyward sword hd skyward sword hd released just before this game got its uh, trailer revealing that it was going to have sky islands and everything so what they could do is they could make a wind waker hd on switch and then the next game be revealed to be like open sea themed I don't know. and the good thing about an open sea theme is it can be the same link the same hyrule it's just link gets on a boat goes out to sea and discovers things oh you are tonoko island man i would expect things to end up more on eventide rather than tonoko you're telling me things from lorellan village often wash up all the way from here all the way over here or here around here around here and then go here jeez almost need a faster boat Oh, you won't go in the water. I'm just gonna steal some of these fans over here. This one as well. Oh, is this actually going to float? I don't know. Well, we can try it. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's see, where is Tonoko again? Directly in front of me. I don't see it though. That's okay. Shh. 
<laughs> I just obliterated an entire school of fish. Roasted Borgies, eh? Ah, Tonoko. Near the island where I found a boat before. So that's where all these boats came from. Oh, oh, this can drive on land. I got an airboat. All right. Well, once again, we can use one of these boats. Attach a battery to here. Battery on top of here. Rocket here. Or you know what? Rocket here on the back. And then this rocket. More batteries. There we go. Now, I just take this apart and attach all that stuff to here. Ooh. Fan here, fan here, and the final fan, send that here. Of course, we want the control stick right in here as well. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I was like, I'm like skipping this boat across. All right. I wonder if he wants this really souped up boat with all the fans and everything. This is a pretty big boat too. If they have that problem with stuff kind of drifting away from Lorellin, they could, they could really create some kind of gate here or something. Some kind of net to stop stuff like that from happening. Ah, uh, is that a boat? Hey, over here and bring that boat. Oh, of course. That's why I brought it. You found a boat for me. Thank you so much. Such generosity demands swift action. So, if you'll just excuse me for a bit. Mm. Okay. Mm, so, I need this part, and that goes there, I think. Ah, get that out of the way. And yeah. No, maybe. Yes, it's done. Whoa. Mm. Ta da! Oh, you got rid of my fans and all my school stuff. What do you think? I'm gonna call this fine vessel the Ever Lovely Mubs. Just name it after Link. Something about giving it a name really makes it more important to me. Here, take this. It's the least I can do after you help me reopen my store. Star fragment, okay. <laughs> This is a very rare thing you can't buy anywhere. I don't sell star fragments either, but my shop does try to stock rarer things you can't find elsewhere if I can. I take pride in my goods, so please come back to my shop whenever you like. Okay, freshly caught and free. Uh -huh. Welcome, welcome. Want some fish? Got just this morning. Still flapping their flippers. Without your help, Link, we could never have opened the shop back up. So load up, okay? You earned mm. it. Of course, we won't take money from the generous soul who rebuilt our village. Help yourself to anything in the store. Clean us out if you like. <laughs> These people are way too nice. You told me I could just have anything. <gasps> oh, I thought those were bright-eyed crabs. That would have been perfect for my quest. Everything's free? I want all of them. All of them, huh? You sure? Yes. Mm. Got some fresh stock for next time. So come you want to take the last one? There's only one? Listen, okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to take mm. advantage. There just isn't enough merchandise in the world sometimes. But I got more in stock, so come back and see me later. I'm going to take your 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 entire stock. I'm gonna oh. glad you know what you like. Shop here anytime. Man, Lorellin is so nice. Yes. Seriously, just giving me everything for free. Wait, what? I can ultra in his shop? Hey, what's the big idea? We need that for the business. Please leave it alone. Huh. Why do I even have the option to ultra hand it then? Interesting. You got rid of the fans though and everything, so I'm kind of upset a little bit about that because those are mine. But listen, I won't hold it against you. Oh, and the guy is aha, the guy has restocked the chest. I have to re Oh, $50. Man, so nice, so nice. Oh, hi. Ah, giving the wings a stretch after a lot of work is the best. I'm glad I came to this little Island place for a break after all that effort with the Skyview Tower. Just take it all in. The smell of the sea. The fresh scent of the waves. We just don't have that where we're from. Ah. So true. So true. I find it so wonderful. Wilson, I get the sense that you and I, we might have a lot in common. It's not another day. Oh. I meet another Rito who'd really take to a place like this. The smell of the waves really unruffles my feathers. So relaxing. Oh. I've heard it called a briny bouquet. The scent of the fruits of the sea. Crabs, fish, blue shell crabs. Mm, fresh seafood all around. Well, they're totally going to end up together by the next game. And well, everything's cool and all, but I think that's it for Lorellin Village. At least for now. Hello, buddy. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? I think I'm going to actually go and talk to Hestu real quick, just because I seem to have almost at least almost 50 Korok seeds, and I'd really like to just increase my inventory real quick. For now, I don't really seem to have anything else planned for what I'd like to do in this episode, but uh, it's just time to get distracted, dance, shakalakala. I smell Korok seeds on you. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of the inventory. So, you want more room? Yes. Shalaka. Which stash should I expand? Ooh, let's see. Let's see. How much for a shield stash? Ten? Okay. Let's begin. Let's let it play in full this time. <laughs> yeah. Na 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 na. Let's see. How much for a bow stash? Twelve? Okay. Here you go. 
Then Van Van Boostash. Weapon stash. Okay, 17. Ooh, that's a lot. I can't, uh, I won't have any more after this for any other expansions. Well, that's okay. Then, no, 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 no. Then Van Van Weapon stash. Just my core seeds, but I don't have enough. Check a lot, my friend. Hey, wait, they need help? You. This is perfect. I've got a favor to ask. Some of the Koroks have had stuff on their minds lately. Oh? Follow the lights in the forest. If you do, you come across the Koroks. We could use your help. Please go find them and see what they need. Oh, okay. I want to see it. A big circle that spins in the water. If it's really real, I want to see it, even as a picture. Big circle that spins in the water? Oh, you mean like like a whirlpool. Okay. I gotta take a picture of a whirlpool. So I follow the lights. There are other Koroks that need some help. We'll go this way. I've never actually tried going this way. Well, hey, this is giving me Ocarina of Time flashbacks. Hey, no going past here. Oh, you're a Hylian. Uh, since you're not a Korok, I guess I don't need to stop you. There's this thing beyond here that I can't stop thinking about. I keep wanting to go and check it out again. Huh? Another thing that showed up in Korok Forest? I saw something similar to that, but it looked kind of different. Uh, when I tried to go back to it, there were a bunch of monsters coming out of the woodwork. Tree monsters and bone monsters. So I'm keeping guard here to warn other Koroks because it's real dangerous. But I'm not about to stop any Hylians who are feeling brave. Just be careful. Oh, and the flowers are there to help keep you from getting lost. So don't go picking them. Okay, none shall pass. If I pick this one. All right, let, let's check this out, huh? I did realize that when I was looking at the map. There are three other light roots here. So that must mean there are three other shrines. You know what? Let's do that in this episode then. I won't go picking the flowers because this is going to tell me where I want to go. Stalfos, style goblins, whatever you call them. Boom. Okay, what about burning some stuff? Hey, ow. <laughs> Uh, ouch. Oh, <laughs> ever means. More ever means. Man, where do the ever means come from? Those guys did not exist before. This is definitely Zelda's fault. She changed something in the past for sure. 100%. So many bone enemies, eh? Boom. Get out of here. Ever means as well. Causing havoc and chaos and ugly times. All right. Goodbye, ever means. See ya. Drop some lizards. Let's uh, do this. Arm to an arm. Hello, ever mean. I knew that was going to be you. Oh, imagine if there was ow. Imagine if there was a Stalfos Lino. That would be pretty cool. What do you guys think? My goodness. 105 blue book goblin arms. You know what? That's it. They're not very strong fuse attack wise, but at least it'll help strengthen this a little bit. This is not a strong weapon, so I don't really care all that much. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Let's keep going this way. Follow the flowers. The scary trees. Hi. What are you doing? Sakun Bamar Shrine? You got a shrine crystal missing. Yeah. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. All right. Okay. I guess I go this way. Are you are. Oh, Talus. Okay, Talus. Uh, yeah. That didn't do anything. Wait, your crystal is your weak spot? How weird. How are you created around a shrine crystal? All right, let me break this weak old weapon on you. Whoops. Toot toot. <laughs> da, 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 da. You're not going to knock me off before I defeat you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Weak sauce. Okay, a talus in the in the Korok forest. Pretty interesting stuff. I definitely was not there before. Or at least we weren't able to go in the fog before. Yep, off me the shrine. Yeah. Man, it's been a while since I've seen that animation. Oh, hello. Hey, I was about to come here again thanks to you. I actually secretly followed you. I was a little scared of the monsters, but I managed because of you. But it seemed like it's shaped differently than what I saw before. I wonder who moves such a big boulder. How strange. That's your pass? All right. We'll go in here just because it's most definitely a blessing shrine. <laughs> Where are his blessing? What's my prize? Open up. No. A diamond. Da, 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 da. Light of blessing. Hey. Oh, enough for two hearts. All right, thanks, buddy. I'm gonna head back now. Actually, wear this, and then... I don't know. All right, well, I followed those lights. Let's follow more lights. Hello. It's been a while, so maybe I should go see how it's going over there. Over there? Up ahead, there's a special place just for Maka. In the forest, there's a wide open space, and right in the middle, there's a green swirl. And you can see an island floating in the sky from there. Maka loves that place. Oh, but since it's covered in lost fog, only Koroks can go there. So you can't come with me. But I'll tell you where to find it. Could you show me your map? Oh, how do you know I have a map? I thought only Koroks can go there. It's here. I could see an island floating in the sky from there. 
I wonder if you could see into the forest from that sky island too. Oh. So, I mean, there's this. I have to go there from the sky? Let's just teleport there. Yep. Now, I want to go directly to the right. Before I do that, let's make a stop here. So, I haven't been to one of these in a while. Here we go. Zonai charges. Five of these. Put all those in there. <laughs> all right. Concert heads, battery, lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunderland. And a stand bulb. Okay. Oh, whoa. Interesting. Uh huh. There's a Korok here. Uh huh. Hello. Am I supposed to... What? <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, I need to get it mid-air. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. I see. For some reason, there's an opening in the fog here. That was 100% not there before. Because I definitely would have found that. And then totally just kind of made my way through here into Ninja's Shrine. Now, are you a Blessing Shrine? I found Maka Special Place. Yes, you are a Blessing Shrine. Now, are you going to give me a diamond or what? A mighty construct bow. You are very fortunate to find out that I just increased my uh, bow. Stash size. So good job. Give me that light of blessing. Oh, hi. Oh, you found this place? Even though you're not a Korok. Wow. This is a special place that I, Maka, found. Maka likes to come here alone sometimes. Didn't think I'd ever find someone else here. Oh, huh, hey. Why are there silent rooms here? Or is this just a safe way back? Aha. Uh -huh. Or this way. Now, he never told me to follow these, but I don't know. This kind of seems like something I'm supposed to do. Huh? Another one over here. Some more over here. Wait, you're telling me there was a safe passage this whole time? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. No, don't take me away. Don't. Oh, no. They found me. What is the lore reason why that happens anyways? Wait, did I just follow them backwards? I'm an idiot. Listen, I don't have my mini map. Over here. Here, over here, over here. No, this way. Ha, 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 this way as well. This way. Oh, I made it to Lake Saria, where a shrine used to be. Or a chest. There still is a chest here. I knew there was a reason why I was supposed to come here. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, forest weather smoke. Oh, that does three like a lino bow? It's pretty sweet. I'm getting rid of this one. <laughs> Thanks, Saria. I actually don't really remember what was here in Breath of the Wild. Now I'm trying to go directly to the left to find this other grove. I want to follow the lights. Oh, I don't know why there's Korok hiding for me. Wait a minute. Yeah, there was this. Note from Maka. Just climb into this tree's mouth to leave the forest. I promise it won't eat you. What? Is that because there's not really any exit to the forest? And I don't know. Oh, hi. Oh, this is where the test of like woods was where you had to fight everything with the forest willer gear. Isn't that green color of the stone so pretty? I found it myself. I want it. Huh? You can't have it. No, no, I found it. Hmm. If you do something for me, maybe I'll consider it. Sure. Okay. The thing is, I love golden apples. And a pretty stone is pretty, but I can't really eat it. So if you bring me five golden apples, I'll trade you one pretty stone. Keep following this path and go real super far on it. You'll find a big bog called Mido, 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 Mido Swamp. And on the north side of the bog are trees where golden apples grow. But there have been more monsters recently, so going there to pick them is hard now. Oh, oh yeah. Also, the bog is bottomless. Don't fall in. Hmm? Could it be that you have five golden apples? Here you go. Yay! Five golden apples. See, so you got one pretty stone. A pretty stone and five golden apples. <laughs> okay, I still gotta take this somewhere, so it's gonna be still over there. Yeah, of course it is. So let's take this. I gave him his golden apples, and I can still pick some more. Oh, huh. right here. The punk shrine. I wonder why golden apples are a thing. That was not a thing in Breath of the Wild. That's just something they decided to add in this game. Oh, well, let's enter this shrine to get Raru's blessing. All right, Raru, what did you bless me with today? Right, this time a mighty zonite sword you know what i that's 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 that, that's good that's a decent reward and of course he's still gonna give me my light of blessing oh you're a fire keys i thought you were like a pretty butterfly but you're not pretty at all you're ugly <laughs> Well, at least I can damage my weapons and not get hit. And man, okay. Hey, guys. Hey, man. Hey, dude. There's even like likes here. Zelda, what did you do changing the, up the timeline and everything? Seriously, these monsters did not exist before. <laughs> they quite literally did not exist. Okay, what am I doing here? I mean, the same fences are here. The same terrible swamp is here. This terrible bog. Oh, man, this bog was so annoying in the last game. Um, hello? Can I do this? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'm so smart. Uh oh, I, I never mind. I drowned. Oh, you tell me I gotta keep using this wood board. That's what's going on. You know what I can do? Oh, Tulin, you're so nice and awesome. Tulin, you're my best fist friend in the whole world. Let me do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. No, no. <laughs> nope. Whoops, I found the bog. You're the bog beast of Bogaba. You ugly bog beast. 
<laughs> this is 100% how you're supposed to play this. You're supposed to completely just run past all of the monsters. <gasps> golden trees. Was it all worth it? A tree with all the golden apples you could ever want in the whole world. Or you could just go to that one forest on Satori Mountain that just has like apples everywhere. So many apples, it lags your game. Well, there seems to be nothing else here that I could want. <laughs> leave me. Leave my presence. Bomb salute. Bomb shall I leave me alone or you will die. All right, that was easy. Thanks, buddy. All right, are you taking good care of that pretty stone for me? It was so pretty. I should prefer a golden apple to a stone. Golden apples are extra yummy. Okay. You know what? Let me go over here to where the stone is and see what Maka has for me. I assume just an exit. We're just catering to the people that... <laughs> <laughs> They're just catering to the people that prefer to play this game without fast traveling. Hi, I'm out. I'm out of the Lost Woods. There's a Korok nearby and a chest. Korok is here. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> That's one of those Koroks I probably never would have found without wearing that mask on. All right. And any treasure up here? No, just kind of fruits and things. Okay. Well, I'll fuse a bomb barrel to here. That'll be all nice. Oh, there's also a Korok over there. Man, this place sucks. Ooh, if I had a like a wing or something, that'd be a perfect ramp to uh, fly off. Oh my gosh. I almost just walked off the edge all casually and nonchalantly and other words, similes. Okay. There is a Korok over here, which is good. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh, 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 there we go. Hello. Easy. Yahaha. Da -da -da -da. Bye, bye What I'm going to do before I end off this episode is I'm going to go over to Lake Hylia and get a nice picture of the whirlpool for my buddy. And I'm going to come back, show him the picture, and see what happens. <laughs> Darn. This is a terrible place. Try to take a picture of the whirlpool. There's no other teleport points around here. Is there a shrine at least? No. Just love Nelson Lightroom. Because amo is love in Spanish and N-E stands for Nelson. Like N-E is literally my initials. That's great. Thanks, Zelda team. All right, let's put on a Zora armor and go up this waterfall. Hopefully, at least that'll help. Swim up with a bomb on my back. Oh. I was in the water for a second. <laughs> Coming across a genuine bug in this game is so funny because this game is so polished and everything. So <laughs> this is great. Oh, wait, what? How did I miss this? Uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I miss. Oops, I missed again. That's okay. I didn't miss this time. Well, the others. Hello? Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. And you are take a slow champ. No, I missed. No, I missed again. Nope. I, I, ah. Uh, come on. Uh, what? Oh my gosh. Korok. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to kind of judge how far away that was because my depth perception is doo doo water. All right. Bye bye. Now we're going to take a picture of this whirlpool. That's not really a good angle, though. Uh, wait, what? I noticed this over here, but I thought it would have been one I've done before. You better give me some cool reward once I've discovered all of these. You know what? Real easy way this is going to work is if I just get a snake. Boom. Physics. Try letting go. <laughs> yeah, the snake is probably the best way to do most of these. Brilliant. But it's wasting a piece of zone eye gear, so I just never do that. All right, 20 bucks. Yeah. Oh, 20 more dollars. Yes, because my inventory was full of food. A bomb flower. All right, see ya. You've done enough science, man. There's a cork nearby. Is it possible up on top of here? Probably, right? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. Man, this has just been a whole Korok themed episode without even trying, really. Ooh, you know what? This is a good angle. Back to Korok Forest we go. <sighs> I brought it. You brought it? Really, Mr. Hero? Yeah, I took a picture of Opal right there. Look at that. Oh, so this is it. So neat. Uh, I feel dizzy from looking at it. Thank you, Mr. Hero. So there really was a big swirly thing. But you know that friend of mine? They told me something else. Something shocking. They said there's more than just swirly water circles. There's big swirly sand circle too. Swirly sand. Could such a thing really exist? Whirly swirly things, eh? Uh, okay. Okay, you know what? I gotta complete this quest. For my Hyrulean pride. Oh. I don't need to fight you again. I love this song though. It's so good. Love to take this, this picture. I'm going back here to show the whirly swirly things. Ooh. Hey, I went to the desert real quick. I brought it. You brought it again? Show me, show me. There you go. Whoa, Whoa. look at that big swirly sand circle. It looks like the sand is swirling toward the center. Exactly. I wonder what would happen if it got swallowed up by it. Oh, it's kind of scary. Thank you, Mr. Hero. I'm so happy. Let's say a perfect thank you. Take it. I have endure carrots. Wow. Do you like carrots? I was going to keep them, but I want you to have them, Mr. Hero. Now I just need it to be peaceful out there so I can go exploring. You can do it, Mr. Hero. Well, all your friends have gone exploring and they brought such big bags they can't move. And I have to go on 
super long journeys to bring them back to their friends. All right, is that it? No, they still need help. Darn, I followed all the lights I can. Oh, I do remember seeing on the adventure log something about Walton. Walton sent you on a treasure hunt. He's hidden a forest dweller sword and a forest dweller spear above the deco tree's face. To find them, you should show them to Walton. Hmm, okay, so you're Walton. Somewhere above the deco tree's face. What if I go all the way up here? Oh, you know what? Ultra hand. Aha! Aha! First Dweller Sword. You know what? That's just as good as this Royal Halberd. Living Wooden Korok Sword is a decayed blade. Even these are decayed. Bursting materials attached to this hip can be reused again and again. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. And he hit a spear. Aha! Uh -huh. You thought you could outsmart me? I'm the outsmarter. Now that's not as good as this, but let me take this Royal Guard Spear with me. The look on your face can mean just one thing. You found them, haven't you? <laughs> So, how was it? Was it hard? Uh, easy peasy. It was easy, huh? Well, that's a surprise to hear. You're Mr. Hero, after all. This is useful info for me, so thank you. Oh, yeah. You can keep what you found as a gift. Okie dokie. There's more than just one simple round to this treasure hunt. That's right. It's time for round two. Next, find me at Forest Dweller's Shield. Still head on the great deco tree. This time, it's below his face. Still head on the ground or in his navel. I wonder if you'll find it this time. Hmm. Okay, it's not in his navel. Below his face. Not on the ground, either. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, is that it right here? Ha ha ha! the shield, that's actually a pretty good shield as well. Let's go ahead and ascend up through the Great Deku Tree into his mouth. Hi, Oki. Hey, found a shield. <laughs> I recognize the look anywhere. Yay, yay, you found the Forest Dweller Shield too. With that, the treasure hunt is over. But how was it? Was it hard? Easy peasy. Oh, it was? I wasn't expecting that. Well then, I'm gonna have to change the hiding place before I do the treasure hunt with everyone. I mean, you're super good at stuff, so I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, Thank you for the valuable info, Mr. Hero. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I'll give you the Forest Dweller Shield you found. I'll just take this as a thank you, too. Oh, your bow stash is full. You make space in your pouch. Come see me again. Is it a good bow? You're going to give me one of these? Because, no, if he's going to give me a Forest Dweller's bow, it's best to just keep what I have. And then if one of my bows break, I can come back here to get another one. That's probably a good idea. I'll even write it down in a note so I don't forget. Perfect. Okay. Well, I've come across all the different Koroks. I thought he was going to give me a reward for helping out all the Koroks, but I don't think I missed out on any. Well, I guess also before I end off this episode, let's, uh, let's see how the deck is up to. Young one, it seems you have met with great danger once more. Yet, I see that you carry the Master Sword. Make good use of it. I am always here. So if you ever have need of me, you need only ask. Uh -huh. but yeah, with that, that is going to be the end of this episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Of course, before we end off this episode, we're going to scan the amiibo for today. Oh, oh. A lot of herbs, pumpkins. Is this a Zelda? Let's see. Oh, a Seabree shield. <laughs> okay. This is 65, so it's pretty good. I'm going to have to get rid of the Forest Dweller shield. Does the Forest Dweller shield have the same thing where anything fused to it? No. Because if it just let you use bombs over and over, that would be overpowered. But uh, yeah, I can actually use the Seabree shield just because uh, I already have one stored up. Oh yeah, and I was right. It was Princess Zelda from Wind Waker. I'm gonna take a picture, Mr. Koro. Hey, if you want to be in the picture, you just gotta ask. <laughs> yeah. Now, I can't promise you won't be cut out of the full thumbnail, but hey, nice job, little buddy. But yeah, I enjoyed this episode of Tears of the Kingdom as always. I love this game and I am enjoying this final month of playing the game and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well so far. But if you are enjoying it as much as I am and if you're excited to see what else I do in the game before finally finishing off the story, then of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know I'm gonna upload a new video. Links for everything else will be in the description below and I will see you later awesome mites. Goodbye!